Rainbow lorikeets, Laura and Larry. Here we find Laura and Larry having a bath and a swim in the bird bath. Laura and Larry have been friends since they were little chicks. They love doing everything together. They might have some squabbles and some fights, but that doesn't matter. They soon get over that and then they're best of friends again. Come on Larry, come in. It's great in here, it's good fun. Come on. No, I think we have to go. I'm getting cold. Let's go somewhere and dry off. Oh, all right. This is a really good place to dry off. Yeah, a, a little bit to the side there. Yes, a, there's an insect ca calling. That's it. Yeah, you got one too? Okay, well, I'll get yours too. Oh, that's good. Are we all finished? Okay, off we go on our adventures. First, we need something to drink here. Is the water good? Is it fresh? asks Laura, who just arrived. Well, Larry says, yes, I've been drinking it for a little bit. It was very nice. Let's go eat over at the Gravilla Bush. It's yummy there. I love eating the pollen and nectar from the flowers of the Gravilla Bush. But my beak's all covered in it now. Let's go to the shady trees. We like to clean our beaks here in the shady trees to get all the pollen and nectar off that we got from the grevillea flowers. That's much better. Let's go down below there to where the rocks are. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Let's go. This is no fun. I don't want to do all that tail grooming. Can we go and do something else? Let's go eat some seed. Oh, all right. No need to get grumpy, you know. Oh no, look what's happened. Larry is really, really angry. Look at him. <gasps> it's not my fault, says Laura. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Not her fault. Well, really, who was swinging on the feeder and made it crash? She'll be back. She just went off in a huff. She'll be back. I hope she'll be back. I'm still angry anyway, but she'll be back. Maybe I should go and look for her. She doesn't seem to be coming back. Laura! Laura! Where are you? I can't see her anywhere. Maybe I'll eat some seed. Maybe that'll make me feel better. No, the seed doesn't taste good without my Laura. We're always together. Where can she be? Make a sound. Let me know where you are. Please, Laura. Where are you? I can't see her. I'm going to go and get Harry and see if he can't help me find her. We'll go and look in the trees. No, Larry. I can't see her anywhere. Are you sure, Harry? Have you looked everywhere? Okay, Harry, I'm going to ask the elders if they've seen her. Hello, elders. I can't find my Laura. I can't find her anywhere. We had a fight. We were on the feeders and she was jumping up and down and rocking back and forth. And now, and she left because I was angry and I can't find her. Don't worry, we'll go off. We'll try and find her. But you should go over there to the meeting place, to the big feeding place of all the birds, and ask them there. Maybe someone there has seen her. Hello. Hello, everybody. Can you listen to me for a minute? Have any of you seen Laura? We had a fight, and she left. Please, can any of you tell me, have you seen Laura? 
No? Well, can you all please look out for her? Please. And let me know if you see her. Okay. I'll go and look further. Thank you. Bye. Good luck. Oh, Laura, where are you, Laura? Please, where are you? If only I could find you. I'm going to go and look in the trees. I must find her. I must find her. There's a storm coming. Laura, where are you? There's a storm. As soon as the thunder and lightning storm has ended, Larry calls out again in the pouring rain from a feeder to Laura. Laura hears him and calls back. I'm over here, Larry. I'm over here, Larry. Please come and find me. I was so scared. I'm okay, but I'm over here. Have you heard the news? Have you heard the news? Did you all hear? Did you all hear? Did we hear what? Laura's been found. Larry found Laura. They're together now. Nobody's hurt. Everything's fine. It's wonderful. Fantastic. And yes, it is true. Larry had found his Laura. And they were very, very happy to be together again. After a while, Laura went to a tree to explain to everybody where she had been. First, she had gone for a lovely swim in the bird bath. She was having a wonderful time and there was nobody around. And then after a while, she decided to go to the Grevillea bush to feed on the lovely flowers there. If she heard anybody coming, she went and hid inside the Grevillea bush until they left. After that, she went and had a bath in one of the feeding drinking stations. She was having a wonderful time. But then Laura explained the storm started and I, I had already flown into the woods and I didn't know where I was anymore, and I'm so sorry, I didn't know what to do. So I hid during the storm. I'm so sorry, Larry, I really am, I'm so sorry. And I'm so sorry to everybody else for worrying you so much. They all forgave her because they were just happy to see her again. Now that the weather had cleared and the storm was gone and it was beautiful and sunny again, Larry and Laura decided to go for a swim at the bird bath again and to meet some of their friends down there. And yes, you know Larry and Laura. Larry was stomping about again getting grumpy and Laura was just <laughs> playing in the water and Larry was saying, get out of the water. You've had a very busy day. You should relax and rest a bit. But Laura was saying, but I'm so happy to be playing in the water again. I'm just having a good time. Yes, the others agreed. We are having a good time. Oh, OK, said Larry. I was just concerned about Laura, but we are having a good time.
And now it is the end of the day, and Larry and Laura are high up on one of the feeding stations. Tonight they will have a good sleep, and tomorrow I wonder what adventures they'll get up to then. Good night, Larry. Good night, Laura.